Hello and welcome to the 17th video in the series Making Simple Flappy Robin for Android using Cocos 2DX version 3. This video then we're going to actually add the, uh, the keeping of the score to the application. So the first thing uh, you'll need to do, or will need to do, sorry, is inside Hello World, inside our Hello World scene class, then we'll need to add a new variable called game score. And I've got capitals on, always good, so we'll just call this game score, and this will then keep track of our game score. So inside the initialization then for our Hello World scene, uh, we'll add in, where should we add it, where should we add it? In the initialization, just below the, cre uh, the create clouds, put the game score to zero. And now the most important thing, obviously, of course, is we need to set the game score when the game starts to zero. And what we'll also do is on the re-enable after game over, we'll actually set this to zero. Having them both in the same place is not really... Oh, in, f in fact, let's take it out of the start game. We don't need it because we've initialized it in the init. I was just thinking there, it might be better actually to have the score disappear once we re-enable -en after game over, already back to zero. So that's our game score then dealt with. Um, what we need to do though is be able to show this on our label. So we need a function that updates our score label. So we'll put one in and call it void and update score label. And just take this definition as usual, drop it in the class. And I'll put it below the initialization actually. drop in the prefix. Now the way we're going to do this is um, using the C way, not the C++ way with strings. I've already talked about that earlier in the video. I like to do it this way. So S printf and then our score string. And then we want score and the score with a percentage D and then the game score. And then last but not least, we can say we'll take our score label and call set string on the score label with our score string, like so. All very well and good. And why does it already have a problem with this? What have I done here? It has type float. Whoops, have I called it a float? Shouldn't have done. I should have called it an integer. Whoops, yes, I have. Should be an integer. Sorry, not a, not a float. Okay, good. So we've got our update score label. What we'll do then is we'll actually put this before the game over equals false inside our game update function, like so. So that keeps our score label then updating. And now the last thing we need to do is in this loop here to um, that loops through the tubes to check for collision. If we don't collide, what we'll do is we'll say else. And then inside the else, we'll say if tube and the state is equal to k tube state active, because we'd want to ignore any inactive tubes, otherwise we'll end up scoring those. And now what we can say is that if the tube, in fact, I'll put this in its own set of brackets. So we want to say if the tube and get bounding box dot origin dot x, so the left hand side of the tube plus tube and get bounding box dot size dot width so this is basically the right hand x point of the tube so it's origin plus its width so if that is less than and then we'll say I'm getting confused in my own brackets here Robin um, get bounding box dot origin dot x. So if the right hand most point of the tube is further left than the left hand most point of the robin, then we'll say that we've actually scored. So we'll set the tube and the scored variable then equal to true. And then what we'll do is we'll increment the game score by one. So when we go through a pair of tubes, we'll score two points. And then we'll play the success sound as well. So instance and then play effect and it's K effect success. 
And that should actually be all we need to do in the entire application to get the score running and updated. So I've turned on the recording of the system sound so we can hear the wonderful effect at, um, for actually scoring. And hopefully this will work. I'm just going over in my mind whether I've forgotten anything here. So we start off and let's first of all let the robin die and just check that we don't get a score up here or anything. No, nope, good. And now let's see if we can actually go through a few tubes and not collide with them to see if we record the score. So just as we pass this tube, infinitely incre increasing... What have I done? Ah, I've forgotten here to say and tube Scored, of course, is equal to false. Try this again. Sorry about that. Could have been a record short video as it is. It's going to be a bit longer as a result. Let's try again then. Okay, so we should have two points here. And we have in three and four. Good. And now I'll go through this one. I'm going to collide with this tube here, so five. And now it's game over, so now when we tap the screen to start, we go back to score naught, and everything's okay. The one thing I didn't really like so much there is that the score label didn't update, and of course that's because we didn't call the update score label um, on the re-enable after game over, so I'm just going to add this in now and run this again. It's a bit of a ball ache I know but I'll just play through the game once more and just get one point and then we can exit straight away. But it just looks a little bit cleaner I think if the score that you just scored stays there and then disappears so get a couple of points here for going through the middle and then uh, crash into this following tube. Game over, and now should reset to zero, and it does, and we can start off again. Good, okay then, so that's then pretty much most of things completed that we wanted to do inside, I would say, the um, Xcode part of the application, but I want to move the application onto Android, and that means we're going to have to move over into Eclipse. And the reason I'm leaving it as it is now is because we can, inside Cocos 2DX, save settings. There's a platform-independent way of saving settings, but for running the application under Android, um, I also did this in the uh, version 2 uh, of Cocos 2DX series that I've done, is to actually um, be able to interact between the Java and the C++ layer to save our settings inside the Java layer. And this also becomes, you're going to need to do this anyway if you start putting in the game services or an advertising banner or something like this, you're going to need to start interacting between the two, and particularly with the game services with saving scores to leaderboards and things like that. So it's good to be able to learn how, how that's done. The code will actually be exactly the same as it is in the version 2 code of this series, so I'll probably go through it a little bit quicker in this one because there are already the videos done for that. But that's a long way next as to why I haven't bothered saving the best score yet or anything like that. We'll start doing that inside the Eclipse part. The only thing I probably further want to do is the background music, but I guess we'll do that inside the Eclipse as well when we've got the setting to change the volume so we can actually turn it off. So that's it then for now. Uh, next video should be, unless I think of something I've forgotten before then, inside Eclipse and looking at the Android specific stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the series so far. See you in the next one.